Yo, yeah, what's going on guys? Straight back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about BJ Penn. So, um, I did a video a while ago asking you guys what you thought if BJ Penn should retire or shouldn't after losing to Nick Diaz. Most people said they think he shouldn't. He shouldn't retire. Um, I also think that he probably shouldn't, but of course, uh, he doesn't need money. Uh, at all <laughs> because uh, like he was rich even before he started fighting like he didn't have to be a fighter uh, you know he probably his family probably already had enough money as it is to to do whatever he wanted he could really do anything he wanted he chose to be a fighter because he wanted to be uh, a champion he thought it's something to be good at and uh, you know he went along with that and he had an amazing career so um, yesterday he pretty much has said uh, let's see who he told this or who he said this to um, UFC and Fuel uh, TV too. So uh, he basically said that uh, that he's probably not going to come back. He's going to stay retired, and um, but that will probably be a, a permanent thing. He probably won't be you know switching back to to mixed martial arts anyway in, in a full um, you know competition type of uh, capacity. He'll I, I think I can see him in the future doing like a Matt Hughes type of thing where he may be just you know, the UFC brings him a fight, not against a guy who's like a top three or something, or like a top guy, but maybe a guy who's like a top 10 or top 15, and just brings him in, just have him come in and do like one fight here and one fight there, that kind of stuff to, uh, you know, just to make some money. And um, because obviously BJ will always be a big draw. Um, I was lucky enough to actually uh, to watch BJ fight against uh, Matt Hughes in uh, Detroit. I got to see it. it was a, a great fight. He actually, this was the third one. So he knocked him out in like, I don't know how many seconds it was, like 30 seconds or something. But anyway, it was a lot of fun anyway. It didn't matter. But um, yeah, it definitely kind of sucks to hear that BJ is going to be uh, going to be retired probably permanently. Um, or at least even if he does come back, it'll probably just be, you know, like one fight here or there. He's probably not going to be making another title run. Um, there's just uh, there's a lot of guys at the welterweight division right now that will be uh, tough matchups, I think, for BJ. I think uh, Koschuk would be a pretty tough matchup for him. I think that uh, he, he could win that fight, but it'd be tough because he could just get taken down over and over again for three rounds. And, uh, you know, hopefully if they do that type of fight, it'd be like a five-round fight. I think that'd be better for BJ. Uh, let's see who else is there. Nick Diaz. Um, you know, him and Nick, uh, we don't even know what's going on with Nick. We don't know if, if Nick could retire too. I mean, you know, as crazy as that sounds since he's in his prime and everything, we could see Nick Diaz say that's it with MMA and just be like, screw it. Um, but you know, still, I, I'd like to see a rematch between these two, uh, BJ and Nick. I mean, you know, um, that was an, that was one of the best fights in UFC history last time. I mean, that was just crazy. And BJ did win the first round. So it's not like, you know, BJ got beaten up bad or anything. Well, he did later, but he didn't get beaten in terms of scoring in the fight that bad. Like, uh, obviously Nick won the fight, but it was like the first round BJ won that round in my opinion. So it wasn't, it was pretty close. It wasn't like an absolute beatdown for the whole fight. You know, he did well. He just uh, got himself tired out. And that's what Diaz does. He kind of starts slow and then he picks up the pace and goes faster and faster. So, but obviously, uh, BJ, one of the greatest, uh, you know, fighters in the history of not just UFC, the UFC, in the history of mixed martial arts. So, not just the UFC, mixed martial arts in general. BJ is one of the best ever for sure. Um, it's going to be a shame not to be able to watch him anymore because uh, he's definitely a fan favorite. I still uh, remember the, the first time I saw BJ fight when he came in the UFC against uh, Carl Uno. And he, he knocked him out against the cage with all those uppercuts and then they showed like a close-up of Carl's face after. And his eyes were going like two different ways and stuff. And when he comes out, he comes like he comes running down and stuff. And man, I, I just uh, love that. BJ is such an awesome, awesome fighter. It's a shame to see that he's going to retire. Man! You know, MMA, like, it's good, but at the same time, it sucks right now because a lot of the fighters that were so good for so many years are, uh, you know, their careers are starting to taper off. You got Fedor losing, you know, three straight and, you know, being out of, uh, you know, Strike Force and, you know, Zufa. So he really doesn't have any good opponents to fight. Um, and we got, I mean, there's so many fighters that are just dropping by the wayside just because of time. You know, uh, the career of an MMA fighter really is not that long. Like, you know, maybe 10 years, uh, if they're fighting consistently over a 10-year basis, that might be it. I mean, the injuries and stuff, it's just uh, crazy. Anyway, um, so regardless of whether or not we all want BJ to come back, it sounds like he's probably not going to. I still think he could be a top five welterweight fighter. I don't think he'll ever be a welterweight champion. Uh, maybe lightweight, he could 
may probably not champion, but he'd definitely be top five. You know, if he if he trained, came back, and had another fight against a top fiver, I'd still think BJ could could win and be at the top. But it sounds like to me he just he wants to be a champion, or he doesn't want to be competing at all. So he's going to open up his own gym and do that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, uh, more power to him. Uh, amazing career, of BJ. Let me know what you guys thought about the uh, about his career. And uh, maybe I'll do a career in review for BJ next uh, when I get some time. Uh, let me know, guys. Later. Peace.